Hi, I'm Nikki Black. I'm a research associate at Newcastle University and uh, currently working in the School of Arts and Culture and the School of Architecture, Landscape and Planning. Um, many thanks to Menelaus for um, giving me the opportunity to continue joining in with the rural cluster um, and especially during lockdown. Um, I've spent most of my life, I suppose, working as a practicing artist in community engagement projects and development both overseas, um, in Africa particularly, and in Greece, and in the UK, in the North East. Um, I went back into academia to do a master's and then a PhD, which I finished in 2015, and I've been working at Newcastle University uh, ever since then. I'm interested in art as a communicator, um, as a, a non-verbal means of making links between people and ideas about the world. Um, I worked with Artist Network in Northumberland as one of the organisers on the Open Studios Art Tour and that was very much physically about connecting artists uh, and non-artists and visitors to the artwork. Um, and I think in rural areas quite often there is a lack of access to art and culture. Um, you know, you're physically distanced, but people are also excluded from it being part of everyday, um, everyday accessibility in contrast to urban areas. And I also think sometimes the art in, that's produced in rural areas may be devalued um, or undervalued uh, in contrast to that um, of urban environments. I looked at some of these sort of issues when I was doing my PhD, where I looked at the impact of small scale rural festivals on uh, the social sustainability within their host communities. Previous other work I've done at Newcastle University, I worked with Encompass, uh, which was an international project uh, with colleagues in media, culture and heritage and other artists, practicing artists. And we looked particularly at um, indigenous culture in Guyana, Kenya, uh, China and the northeast of the UK, made a travelling exhibition and um, alongside catalog cataloguing some of the, uh, the cultural heritage in these areas, we were looking at implications for its contemporary continuation and impact on communities in these developing areas. Um, more recently, I've just finished work on mapping contemporary art and the heritage experience, which is a three-year research fund, uh, a three-year project funded by the AHRC, where we particularly looked at um, the creation and reception of contemporary art commissioned for heritage properties and heritage sites. Um, I'm now currently working on Living Deltas, which is a really large research hub based at Newcastle, but working with uh, 20 plus institutions around the world. And the aim of this project is to investigate the impact of climate change on three major uh, river deltas in Bangladesh, in India and in Vietnam. And my role in this is looking at art forms and cultural representations and how they contribute to uh, building resilience um, uh, for the dwellers in these rural delta regions. Just to finish off this presentation, I thought I'd bring you up to Bywell in the heart of rural Northumberland. I'm a beekeeper uh, and I've got three hives up here as part of Hexham Beekeepers Apiary. And I thought it was an appropriate place uh, within a rural cluster for me to bring you really and just have a bit of an idea what I would like to get and contribute to and from the rural cluster. Here we are inside the apiary now and just looking at my three beehives on a rather windy afternoon. But my interest in involvement in the rural cluster stems not only from a love of rural places but from an attempt to try and understand the contribution of arts and creativity to understanding place, how experiences of um, living in a rural area can impact on what and how art is produced, and also how art can invoke intangible cultural heritage in rural areas through the practices um, and processes that go on here. And I think this links to my overarching research aim in the you know, what is the contribution of art and creativity 
to the sustainability of cultures and communities through innovation and continuity within those practices and uh, processes. And uh, just to say thank you very much for listening to me and hope to see you soon.